As you know, there are lots of female athletes competing for medals and trophies every year in various games. Among them, there are a lot of female athletes who take lots of fortune home. But have you ever wondered who the richest female athletes in the world are? And how do they make money? Probably not. Don't worry. Today we bring you the list of the richest female athletes in the world. So without further ado, let's get started. At number 10, we have Annika Sorenstam, who is a retired professional golfer from Sweden. She is the greatest female golfer of all time, winning 10 major championships. Sorenstam started her career as an amateur golfer and turned professional in 1992. She won her first LGPA tournament in 2012. She also represented Sweden in the Olympics. Some magazines report Sorenstam's net worth to be around $40 million. A significant portion of her income came from her prize money and endorsements. She has won about $38 million in her career through prize money. She has endorsed several top brands such as Nike, Accenture, and Rolex. She also received $2 million a year for a deal with Nike. Sorenstam also owns several businesses, including a golf course design company and an academy for young golfers. She also has prime real estate properties, including a luxury home in Florida worth around $4 million. At number 9, we have Naomi Osaka, who was a Japanese professional tennis player. She lived in Japan till she was 3 and later relocated to the USA. She is a four-time Grand Slam champion. She has also represented Japan in the Olympics. Naomi began her professional career in 2013 and quickly made a name for herself on the international stage. Some magazines report her net worth to be around $50 million. She makes a major part of the income from prize money from her four Grand Slam wins in the past 10 years and her endorsement deal with companies such as Nissan, Yonex, and Nissan. She has made over $19 million in prize money so far. She is reported to earn $60 million a year. Naomi has also ventured into business with her clothing line called Naomi Osaka X Adiem in collaboration with Adiem. She also bought a home in LA worth $6.3 million. At number 8, we have Caroline Wozniacki, who is a professional tennis player from Denmark. Wozniacki started her career as a junior player, turning pro in 2005. She made a professional debut at the 2005 ITF tournament. Wozniacki's net worth is estimated to be around $30 million. A significant portion of her income comes from her prize money, endorsements, and sponsorships. She has endorsed several top brands, such as Rolex, Adidas, and Godiva. She has made more than $35 million on field, and her investment portfolio makes her $28 million. She owns houses in New York and Monte Carlo. Her New York estate costs about $6 million, which is equipped with luxurious features. She also owns a tennis coaching academy in Odense. At number 7, we have Li Na, who is a retired professional tennis player from China. She started her career when she was 16 in 1999, and she won two Grand Slams in her career, lasting 10 years. She finally retired at age 32. Her net worth is estimated to be around $60 million, mainly coming from prize money, endorsements, and sponsorships. She has endorsed big brands such as Nike, Mercedes-Benz, and Rolex. In the last year of her career, she made around $7 million from her endorsements and $22 million on the field. Lina also owns a coaching academy and her brand. Additionally, Lina owns real estate properties, including a luxury apartment in Shanghai worth about $8 million. Coming in at number 6, we have Danica Patrick, who is a retired professional race car driver from the United States. She is the most successful woman in the history of American open wheel racing. Her victory in 2008 is the only win by a woman in an IndyCar Series race. Patrick started her career as a go-kart driver and eventually competing in the IndyCar Series and NASCAR. She made her professional debut in 2005. Some magazines report Patrick's net worth to be around $60 million. A significant portion of her income came from her prize money, endorsements, and sponsorships. She has endorsed several brands such as GoDaddy, Tissot, and Aspen Dental. Patrick also owns several businesses, including a clothing line and a wine company. She also owns the podcast Pretty Intense, making her money from royalties. She has earned about $7.2 million in salary and $5 million from endorsements. She also owns various real estates, including a luxury home in Arizona, worth about $3.5 million. At number 5, we have Steffi Groff, a retired German professional tennis player. She has won 22 Grand Slam titles. Steffi began a professional career in 1982 at the age of 13, winning 22 Grand Slams through her career which lasted 17 years. Her net worth is estimated to be around $30 million. Most of the money she made through her successful career and various endorsement deals with companies such as Adidas, Mercedes-Benz, and Rolex. Apart from this, she has also invested in a ticket selling platform via GoGo, which is now worth $2 billion. Also, she owns multiple tennis academies called the Steffi Groff Tennis Center. She has invested in prime real estate and recently she decided that she would put one of her properties on the market at a whopping $2.4 million. At number 4, we have Venus Williams, a professional tennis player from the US. She has won 7 Grand Slam titles. She started her career at age 14, winning 7 Grand Slam titles in her career, lasting more than 29 years and still going. 
She made millions of dollars throughout her career, a significant portion of her income coming from prize money from seven grand slams and endorsements. Some magazines estimate William's net worth to be around $95 million. She has endorsed several top brands such as Reebok, Wilson, and American Express. She was paid $40 million in 2000 from Reebok. Williams also owns several businesses, including a clothing line, an interior design firm, and a minority ownership in the Miami Dolphins. She also did voiceover in The Simpsons with her sister Serena in which she was paid handsomely. She owns multiple villas including a luxury home in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, worth around $10 million. At number 3, we have Alexis DeJoria, who is an American professional drag racer. She began her career in 2008 and her career lasted 12 years. Some magazines estimate DeJoria's net worth to be around $15 million. A big part of that money comes from her successful career as a professional drag racer, as well as various endorsement deals with companies such as Tequila Patron, CKE Restaurants, and Toyota. She's also the only heir of her billionaire father. She became the first woman ever to make a sub-four-second pass during the NHRA Women Internationals at Pomona. Apart from this, DeJoria is the owner of a company called DeJoria Diamonds, which produces and sells high-end diamond jewelry from which she made millions of dollars in profit. She owns a home in Newport, which cost her $11.65 million. At number 2, we have Maria Sharapova, a retired Russian professional tennis player winning five Grand Slam titles. She began her professional career in 2001 at the age of 14, quickly making a name on the international stage in 19 years. Various magazines report Maria's net worth to be around $195 million, mostly from her successful career in various endorsement deals with huge companies like Nike, Porsche, and Evian. She has earned $250 million in total off-field. Maria also owns businesses named Sugar Pova and Maria Sharapova by Cole Hahn and some real estate agents reveal that Sharapova paid an impressive $8.6 million for her new ranch, which covers nearly a five-acre area. The entire estate enjoys an amazing view of Whitewater Coastline and Santa Inez Mountains. At number one, we have American athlete Serena Williams. She started her career at the age of 14. Her career lasted 35 years. In 1999, she won her first Grand Slam. She also won four gold medals at the Olympics. In terms of net worth, she is said to be worth $260 million. Her money is largely coming from the 23 Grand Slams she has won. She also earns money off the field through various endorsement deals with Gatorade, Aston Martin, Pepsi, Beats by Dre, and a $40 million contract with Nike. These made her the highest paid athlete in 2018. Williams also owns several businesses, including a clothing line and an interior design firm. Apart from her brand deals, she also has invested in real estate in which she owns a Beverly Hills home and one Bel Air mansion costing $12 million. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive updates from our channel. Make sure that your friends also see this video.